In SimChart, case studies guide students through a clinical scenario. The case studies are unfolding, meaning more information becomes available to the students as the case evolves. Case studies can be used independently by the student or as guided activities to complement the classroom, simulations, clinical skills labs, home-based tasks and clinical placement hours. They provide opportunities for assessment, feedback, practice of skills and clinical reasoning, which assists with the translation of theory into practice. In this case study, we meet Irma Willis, a 65-year-old woman admitted to the medical unit with a diagnosis of community-acquired pneumonia. She was admitted with a productive cough and chest pain, which increased on inspiration. She was diaphoretic and fatigued. To successfully complete this SimChart assignment, students must use an EMR to synthesise and apply information and data to understand the patient's history and assessment. Analyse assessment findings of a patient with pneumonia. Demonstrate understanding of management of a patient with pneumonia. Prioritise care based on a patient's physical assessment and laboratory findings. Demonstrate knowledge of pneumonia. Once students meet their patient, they are given information to interpret and document. Here in the Vital Signs chart, Students follow a systematic approach to documentation. The layout reflects the A to E patient assessment, prompting students to complete their observations in this evidence-based approach to patient care. The Vital Signs chart includes an early warning score system designed to help students build confidence in recognising a deteriorating patient. This directly aligns with the National Safety Quality Health Service Standard 8 and national recommendations. As the patient observations are entered, the student is alerted if the data is outside of the expected range. The colours and categories directly reflect the adult deterioration detection system. Furthermore, students are prompted to consider the relevant actions specific to their patient findings and document their interventions. Based on the information here and this patient situation, we would expect the student to complete a more detailed respiratory assessment, which can be documented within patient charting. There are prompts throughout the chart. However, the student can complete as much or as little as they like, allowing the educator to ascertain the breadth of their knowledge. Multiple choice questions appear throughout the assignment testing students' understanding of pathophysiology, disease processes, relevant medications, nursing care and more. The results for these are sent to the educator and contribute to the students' grades. The educator can also leave comments in any chart work completed by the student as required. A handover using the ISOBAR chart is done to complete the first phase. Next, after reviewing laboratory results, and providing some patient education, the student will use the medication chart to administer and document medications accordingly. Students have the option of leaving comments relevant to their medication administration. The medication chart allows medications to be withheld and prompts the student to provide a rationale for doing this, which reflects the expectations of the clinical environment. As the clinical situation progresses, more vital signs are taken and another ISOBAR handover is completed. This provides another opportunity for the student to use this evidence-based communication framework and build confidence with this national requirement. This completes the case as duty of care is handed over. Mm -hmm.